Welcome to Car Audio 101, where we answer common car audio questions. Here's a good one. Why does my monoblock amplifier have two sets of speaker terminals? Does this mean I can bridge my monoblock amp? This is a really common question that we get. A lot of monoblock amplifiers come with just one set of speaker terminals. As we all know with amps, generally one channel equals one set of terminals, one positive, one negative, or left to right. However, some manufacturers design some of their monoblock amplifiers with two sets of speaker terminals, so two positive and two negative. This tends to confuse people new to car audio and they think sometimes that it's a two channel amplifier or a bridgeable amp instead of just a single channel monoblock with dual outputs. For example, let's take a look at the Orion XTR 1500-1DZ monoblock amplifier. This is a very simple monoblock amplifier with just one set of speaker terminals. Nothing confusing here. Now, let's look at the Pioneer GMD9701, another great monoblock amplifier. However, it has two sets of speaker terminals. Why? Monoblock amplifiers are designed to typically drive subwoofers, and some monoblocks are meant to drive multiple subwoofers. Wiring two subwoofers to a monoblock amplifier with one set of terminals is simple. You just put the two positive connections on the same positive terminal, and the two negative connections on the same negative terminal. And remember boys and girls, that is considered a parallel connection, so half your impedance. But cramming two wires into each terminal can sometimes be a little difficult with large gauge wire or might not feel completely secure when dealing with small terminals. That's why some monoblocks are designed with two sets of terminals so that when you wire two or more subwoofers to the amplifier, each sub gets its own connection or it allows for easier connection of say four subwoofers. But remember, it's still a one channel operation. It just makes life a little easier when wiring multiple subs. You can of course still use two sets of terminals to wire one subwoofer. Now, for bridging a monoblock, this can be done in one very limited circumstance and that is known as strapping. Strappable amplifiers are specifically designed to be bridged using two identical amplifiers that are connected via data cable and split the outputs between the two amplifiers. These setups are used in extreme bass situations and the amplifiers have to be built for this. As with everything in car audio, consult your owner's manual prior to installing. Don't assume anything. Hopefully this video helped you out with some questions. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.